Welcome back to my MySQL Lite Save User Data tutorial. This is going to be the second part where I'm going to add the um, the show the data the button to display all the data that's stored in your database. Um, yeah, so let's just get started here. First of all, you're just going to go to your layout, and we're going to add a new button. We call it uh, View Data, and we're going to call it Button View Data, and that's all you need to do for that. We go into your database helper class and we need to create a new that closing that one. We need to create a new new method here. And this one, what is this one gonna be? It's gonna be a cursor, yeah. It's gonna be a cursor. So create a new cursor. We call it show data. And just like last time, first thing you gotta do is create your database or reference your database. Um, so this is now going to query your database. This this part again right here is is a MySQL language just like what we had right here and right here. So if you want to know more about um, writing MySQL code uh, just do some do some research. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it here. Just going to show you how to use it. And then we pass a null here, and you return data. Okay, so that's that's actually it for the database helper. Then we go over into main activity, and we're going to first of all declare a button. Oops. Button uh, view data. And then create it here just like we did with all the other variables. Oops. I guess they're not variables there. Uh, I don't know what they need to call them. Things you use. So we'll do that. Um, then we got to create our just like we do with our add data method, we got to create a view data method. So just like before, again, we're going to set an onclick listener. So new, capital O, and you can see the onclick listener right here. So Android will build it for you. And we got to declare our cursor. And then here we use our show data class. So we create our cursor and refer to our database and use our show data class that we created. Or sorry, our show data method that we um, that we used over here that we made over there. So show data. <coughs> so if data get count equals zero. So if um, there's nothing basically, then um, we're gonna. Oh, I'm also gonna show you how to make a cool uh, alert, alert dialog message here. So I'm gonna just write this out for now. So this is gonna print a message, but we'll, we'll get to that later. So the buffer is what you use to um, look at everything in the database. It's going to print out. Do id data dot get string, and it's going to refer to position zero because um, in your database helper, position zero is going to be. If you go up here, position zero is going to be the id. Position one will be the name. Um, two will be email, and three will be TV show. Let's not get count. What am I doing? Get string. Ooh, I should type string. There we go. And then we'll do a new line. So when it appends, when it appends the next thing, 
one on a new line. So we'll do name plus dad get string. And this is going to be position one. Oops. I should actually just copy and paste this much faster. This is going to be email. Position two, and the next one would be TV show. Oh, let's go favorite TV show, and refer to position three. Cool. So then we're going to have a display message here. I'm going to use the alert box that I'm going to create. That I'm going to create down below for this and for this. So we're going to make a new method for um, basically creating an alert box. I'm going to call it display. <clears throat> I was going to do a separate tutorial on this, but uh, I probably will. But I'll just uh, I'll just throw it in for now. I'm assuming if you're doing this, you're not a complete beginner anyway. You probably know how to do this. Whoops. Dialog. Why is it angry? Oh. Builder.set cancelable. I think maybe this set cancelable thing is why it. Maybe if I can change that, it won't iterate through everything. Anyway, I'm just talking out loud or thinking out loud. Uh, set, we gotta set the title. Maybe title. So now we can uh, use this method to display messages in an alert dialog box. <coughs> so we'll, uh, we'll do this one first. So it's called display, and it, the title of it will be error, and the message it displays will be no data found. message for this one. Uh, this one's going to be all stored data because this is going to print out all the stored data and then we're just going to print out our buffer that we created up there. Two string. Okay. So it will use a dial it'll create a dialog box that, that'll have a title all stored data and it's going to print out basically what we just showed here. I think, I think we might be good here. Oh, <laughs> just like last time, I forgot to do this. Oops, view data. Okay, let's run the emulator. <coughs> yeah, so this, this is really great for storing a large amount of data and being able to view it and edit it and you can do, do quite a bit with this. And it's pretty easy to throw together it's pretty easy to add functionality as you can see like that that didn't take long and I had to create a couple methods the alert dialog box was extra basically okay so we have the view data here so let's click that and we can see everything that we've stored so far see like I don't know why when I click it see it iterates down I don't I don't get that so let's add some or I guess you guys already saw me add stuff so that's fine I'll uh, I'll stop this tutorial here and in the next one I'll add a button Oh, excuse me. Um, add a, what will I add? An update. I'll add an update data button. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.